to ask you a few questions with you like rashida tanvi and chetna uh, what do you understand by the word blockchain means uh, where you have uh, you know uh, noticed this word before how much you know about it just tell me that and then we will start the class rashida tanvi and chetna are you able to listen me it's a crypto yes crypto it's a cryptocurrency cryptocurrency bitcoin. bitcoin tanvi can you tell me you know if you'll keep this uh, conversation you know uh, in a two way it will be more interesting for all of us otherwise you know i'll keep you know speaking up for the whole two two hours uh, you know it will be not a good thing to deliver so if it will be a two way communication it will, will be good for all of us and we will you know achieve new heights of learning tanvi and chetna uh, would i would you be able to speak so up it is, yes sir it is kind yeah. of interconnecting something okay because uh, block and chain word is there that is why you are assuming or you have read read yes, somewhere i am assuming sir okay Only great, very good right you are correct chetna rashida you were also correct but blockchain and cryptocurrency is one of the application of uh, blockchain so uh, first of all i would like to tell you that we are not going to study about blockchain and you know cryptocurrency this course is not about that this course is uh, you know blockchain is one of the underlying uh, you know application area of the blockchain so we will be covering the over uh, the top layer of the blockchain that is uh, top layer of the cryptocurrency that is blockchain so under blockchain we have multiple application areas and cryptocurrency currency is one of them got it so uh, before starting the blockchain applications and new business models like uh, blockchain is would be the technical topic right i know uh, you all are not from technical background but i'll keep uh, my examples and uh, you know the uh, uh, conversation and explanation in a, in a way that you will be all will be, you all will be able to understand in a very easy easy way so uh, let's start the today's class so these are the agendas like first we will talk about enabling technology basically blockchain is a you know combination of multiple technologies so we will discuss first on that and then we will go for the general overview of the, the properties of the technology that is blockchain and then we will go for some fundamental concepts then we will discuss about business process automation and we will have some examples in this particular um, part of this unit 1 so before to this i need to talk talk you uh, talk with you about the cryptography first we understand what is cryptography any understanding you have on this word have you have you ever heard this word before the term cryptography a quick answer from you sir is it the coding coding in technical languages yes. where we just coding is not in technical languages Co uh, means you know cryptography is very common thing in day to day life of every common person it is not related with computer science only but you know whenever you are logging in into any website whenever you are using your banking you know uh, accounts you all are using passwords in on a day day to day daily basis you are using passwords and username so what what if your username and password you know is stored everywhere in the plain text form plain text form means the the form which can be which can any anyone read let's say if you are having your password as uh, rashida dot uh, spsu1234 and if i am saving this password on any you know um, database in the same way you are writing it then what will happen anybody can read it and anybody can steal it and anybody can use your password credentials to you know access your accounts yes or no yes sir yeah so basically what we need to do is we need to save because obviously we need to save it somewhere because without saving it we will not be able to use it and uh, uh, you know authentic authenticate over the internet so anything whatever you are you know uh, searching on the internet whatever you are typing on the internet whatever you are saving on the internet is saving somewhere 
so we need to save it with some coding it is just like placing the things in a covered form so if i am saving all the passwords all the you know uh, important credentials of our you know on in the plain text form then it will be it will be very easy to grab the details to the others and then we will be victim of you know cyber security attacks so better what we what we do we just codify the things which are in plain text we convert it into you know some coded form in general in technical terms we call it as cipher text so plain text and cipher text plain text is what whatever we are you know uh, writing or saving in the same method we are writing it so that is the plain text let's say if i am sending a message to rashida let's say i said let's meet tomorrow 5 pm so if i am sending the message as it is in the english anybody can steal it any and anybody can read the message right so better what i will do i and you will decide a coding method that uh, rather than sending the message in the plain text text format i will send it in the encrypted form that is cipher text and then you and me know how to decipher that you know uh, uh, coded message but another person will not be able to understand that what coding method we have used to encrypt the message so it is a combination of two things encryption and decryption when we talk about cryptography cryptography comprises of two things one is encryption and second one is decryption what is encryption encryption is converting a plain text data into cipher text c i p h e r cipher text and what is decryption it is again conversion of cipher cipher text into the plain text so i will do encryption and rashida at the second end will you know uh, will do decryption to grab the actual information in the message i think uh, is it clear everybody no sir no clear nahi nahi samajh aaya sir okay let's say just give me a second i'll tell you what it is just just imagine we have two people a and b right if a want to send a message b and just imagine one another person that is c that is looking the messages sent by a to b are you getting this scenario yes 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 sir right let's say if a is sending a message to b in the plain text plain text means in english or in hindi or in any language which can be read by anyone right if a is sending the message in plain text right to the b so what c can do c can grab that message and he can steal the information yes or no oh, yes yes yeah so rather than sending the data in the same you know plain text what we are doing a will encrypt the message he will he will use some algorithm he will use some method to encrypt the message and now at the at the place of you know plain text he will send a encrypted message to the b so now if c also grabs the message c will not be able to understand what the message is in are you getting now yes right so it's so all this, about the language no it's not okay. about language it's all about you know saving the data you know saving okay. the data on the internet okay i am just taking example of sending message from one to another person let's say you are logging into your gmail so what you do you just open www.gmail.com and a page appears on the in front of you right and where you put in your login username and you put in your password right and you click on sign in button yes or no it happens yes yes what will yes. happen after clicking on sign in button your username and password will share from your computer to the server of gmail yes obviously to authenticate yourself the username and the password you have entered on the portal it will sent to the server for authentication yes or no do you believe this yes 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 so let's say what happens if this username and password is going to the server in the plain text form Are you getting okay. now? Yes. Are you getting now? So what will happen if somebody, you know, some 
hacker or some you know cyber security attackers are there on the internet and they are picking up that this detail about your gmail and you know we have sent the message in a plain text format what will happen it will easily acquire that message which is tra traveling from your computer to the server through the internet and he, he will get all the information of your gmail account so we need to you know secure it so Cryptography is the thing where we can secure our messages, our data on the internet through encryption. Now it is clear. Yes, sir. Sure, hundred percent to all of to all of you, or only one person is getting me. So got it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, cryptography includes two things: encryption and decryption. Is it, it is clear now? Encryption is the yes. net sender side and decryption is the net the receiver side. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Encryption means converting plain text into cipher text. It is encryption coding, right? And another part will be decryption. Decryption is what decoding. So converting cipher text to the plain text. Now it is clear. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. No? yes, sir. Fine. Even you can make some notes like while you know I'm talking you with you now, you can write some points like encryption, decryption, so that you will have a you know understanding after the class that what we have studied today. And if you have something to read more on the internet, you will have some, some something to read on the internet. So you can write some you know kind of point, some pointers, so that it will you know to keep reminding the things that yes we have studied this and now we have to study more so you can make that you can take that also right now we are coming that yes we know about cryptography we know what is cryptography is so cryptography is a combination of encryption and decryption right again when we talk about type of cryptography we have two types of cryptography first one is the asymmetric cryptography and second one is the symmetric key cryptography now can you tell me the meaning of symmetric and asymmetric in English? What is the meaning of symmetric and asymmetric? Anyone? So symmetric is usually in equal parts. And equal, asymmetric same, similar. Sim, uh, symmet, uh, symmetric means similar and asymmetric means dissimilar. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right. So till now we have studied about cryptography. Encryption we know. What is encryption? Converting plain text into random sequence of bits. That is cipher text. Then decryption. That is inverse process to the uh, of the encryption where we are converting random sequence into plain text. So we know about encryption decry decryption. The another thing is key. Key means the passcode basically. A key that will be used to convert the plain text into you know cipher text and again cipher text into plain text it is just like imagine a lock and you will need a key to lock and unlock getting this getting this yes or no if anyone would be you know uh, giving me answers it will be <laughs> more you know suitable thing that yes, you people are listening. So it will give me so a. Can boost. you give an example? Uh, just imagine. I I I I get it. Just imagine a lock. Basically, what you are doing through encryption, you are locking something, and do through decryption, you are unlocking something. Is it is it is that you know kind of thing. So for locking process, you need a key, and for unlocking process, again you will need a key. Got it? Now it is clear. Yes, sir. So key would be uh, in when we talk about computer, you know, uh, technical terms, we need encryption and decryptions are two algorithms. I think you know the meaning of algorithm or a program you can say or a computer software you can say. Right. So for encryption and decryption, we need to enter one key like passcode that based on that key, the mathematical equations will run which is given in the algorithm and then it will produce the output like it will do do encryption or it will do decryption so based on key it will do the things it is similar to the lock to lock something we need a key and to unlock again we need a key 
so key will be one of the important aspect of cryptography now it is clear everyone yes sir okay so you know about encryption you know about decryption you know about key right and you know about cipher as well cipher is nothing but a randomly arranged you know random sequence of bits that is your cipher text that is your you know encrypted text you can say more right yes sir so encryption decryption key and cipher we know about all these things correct now we are coming to the symmetric and asymmetric so as i told you we have two types of cryptography first one is the symmetric and another one is the asymmetric so symmetric means similar so let's say if i am using a same key key you know right what is key if i am using the same key for encryption and decryption means for create for converting plain text into cipher text i am using a key and the same key i am again using for decrypting like to convert cipher text into plain text so we are using same kind of key similar keys as a secret key then we will call it as a symmetric key encryption is it clear yes sir sure 100% everybody yes sir yes what sir. is secret key secret key is a key which is shared by both the parties one with the sender and another with the receiver so receiver and sender both will have same kind of key just imagine i have one lock and i have distributed a key to me and one key to rashida so if i am sending anything logged with that uh, lock right so rashida can be able to open the lock obviously because she has the key but why i am talking why i am saying it is a symmetric key encryption because rashida and i am having the same kind of key same secret key got it sir it is kind of password or what no it is not password it is a passcode it is a basically key password is different we need to save the password password could be taken some time as a key but you know uh, it will it will be injustice to say a password as a key key would be taken by cryptographic you know uh, algorithm creators those who are creating the algorithms for encryption and decryption they will use they will create the key and yes there are certain possibilities that whatever password you are choosing the key will be created based on the combination and permutation with your uh, password as well so it is not in your hand so don't worry about it got it okay sir right so why i am uh, saying it is a secret key because we need to keep it secret reason behind the key which i have used for locking the same key will be used for unlocking as well so i need to keep the key secret otherwise what will happen whether i am locking it there is no mean there is no you know use of locking the message because the secret key is shared let's say it is compromised if the secret key is compromised then there is then there is no use of you know uh, making use of this symmetric encryption got it any doubt in this no sir okay so uh, i'll ju i'll just write this four points for you it is also described as secret private key why i'm calling it as secret key because we need to keep the key secret that is why we are calling it a secret key we cannot you know share it with another person only to the legitimate user like if i want to send the message to rashida then only i will share the key with rashida as well not to the others let's say if i shared the key with tanvi as well then tanvi and rashida both have the access to open the message so if i if i want to keep the message private between me and rashida then i should be uh, you know aware that the key should be shared with rashida only not with the others that is why i am calling it as secret key symmetric encryption fine so both parties have the same key to keep the secret and it is suitable for bulk encryption if you if we want a bulk kind of encryption lots of data to encrypt then we will use this symmetric encryption and it requires less processing power and faster transfers so it supports for faster transfers and it takes less power processing power while you know encrypting and decrypting 
so i think uh, the symmetric encryption is okay with uh, everybody yes or no yes sir. yes sure 100% na yes, okay next we are moving to the asymmetric key encryption why it is called as asymmetric because for you know encryption and decryption we will use two different keys one will be the public key and one will be the private key got it now why it is asymmetric because for encryption and for decryption we are using two different keys okay yes or no got it everybody yes sir fine so let's say just imagine four people are sitting uh, can you can you help rashida to get me four names from your class that one one is the i right i am sitting on a table or in a room i am the one person rashida is second third is tanvi can you get me the fourth name please anyone sir chetna chetna right chetna i forgot the name sorry so let's say if we four people are sitting in a room and for example chetna and uh, uh, this uh, bhavna wants to chetna and tanvi wants to communicate with with each other but they want the message to be keep secret whether while all four people are sitting in the room are you getting tanvi and chetna wants to communicate in presence of me and rashida but they want to keep the message secret got it yes sir just imagine everybody is having two two keys like if i am talking about myself i i will have two keys similarly rashida will have two keys tanvi will have two keys and uh, this chetna will have two keys what is the two key first key is the public key public key means which has you know uh, shared publicly means my public uh, my, uh, about my public key chetna knows tanvi knows and rashida knows similarly about chetna's uh, public key we all three people are knowing that what is her public key got it that is why the name given as public key that is publicly available is it clear with all of you yes sir right and another key yes, will sir. be the private key another key will be the private key so my private key is only known to me not to others similarly rashida's private key is known to her only not to others and then similar way chetna and tanvi as well so everybody will have two keys one is public key the public key will be available shared with all the you know uh, it is it will be available publicly and one will be the private key and when we talk about cryptography it is based on mathematics right so this public key and private key are have you know are have some relation with each other so let's say this is the necessary condition if i am locking a message if i am encrypting a message with my private key then only it can be opened with my public key got it and if i am locking it or encrypting it my public key then it can be opened with, with my private key only got it this condition got it this condition everyone no sir see what you not understand tell me what you not get please tell me sir when we are encrypting it with the public key why is it going to be open with only your private key when public key is with everyone else yes that is this is the necessary condition i am talking about that if i am encrypting a message my with my public key only my private key will be you know open that message not others i'll tell you why it is necessary and why it is helpful so you need to keep remember that if i am locking uh, any message with my public key only my private key will be able to open it and if i am locking the message with my private key then only my my public key will be able to open that message and similar thing will be you know applicable for everybody's public and private key so let's say if rashida is sending some message with her uh, locked with her public key her private key will be able to open i'll tell you i got it why the question is arising in your mind i'll i'll answer in uh, in couple of seconds wait for that so just imagine 
are you getting this uh, you know scenario that only the uh, you know paid key will be able to open the message is it clear with you all yes sir right so now just imagine what we are, are saying uh, just take this example now tanvi is there and bhavna is there right correct i will need your help in this support in this so keep your uh, you know mic on if you can okay, it will sir. be easy so that i will i will okay, understand sir. that uh, yes you are getting the scenario so just for two or three uh, minutes you just open your mic it, if it is uh, possible for bhavna and tanvi you sh should also open your mic i'll give you a you know live example to understand this asymmetric key encryption got it so can i get tanvi and bhavna on the on the mic yes, tanvi and bhavna yes, tanvi and chetna tanvi. sorry not not bhavna chetna sorry tanvi and chetna yes, on the mic both yes, are available yes, tanvi this time yeah, yeah tanvi uh, sir i'll keep on unmuting no issues okay fine and chetna yes sir if chetna is okay. if Chet, chetna is available na yes sir i'm here okay fine fine correct so now now next uh, i want tanvi and chetna to communicate with me right just imagine uh, tanvi you want to send a message to chetna right yes or yes, no yes sir right. yes sir how many keys you have available with you to lock something or to encrypt something just think for a second and tell me how many keys you are having you are having uh, you know uh, approach on how many keys so two public keys and one private key yeah you can talk about your public and private key you will have that that is totally yours right and you will have access to the chetna's public key as well right yeah because it's public and yeah, uh, anybody can correct. have that so yes that. yes yes correct, correct just imagine you are sending a message let's say you are you know new to this you know all cryptography and you are you want to send a message to the chetna so you have three keys available to you right just imagine you are sending the message yes, sir. while encrypting the message with your public key your public key tanvi's public key and you send this message to chetna fine uh, excuse me sir sir here i have a confusion no no no, like, no just 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 listen this conversation okay. all the confusion that okay. is why i am doing this exercise right so yeah, just yeah. listen this conversation you will you will have clear you know thought on all this that what is public private and what so you have just remember one thing you have logged it with your private key no no yeah. with your public key hmm. right you have logged with with your public key and you have sent this message to chetna now chetna yeah. i'll talk to you Chetna, how many keys you have? I have three as well. Yes, obviously, as then we have you. You also have three keys. Two is yours. One is your public key. One is your private key, and another is Tanvi's Tanvi private public, uh, public key. You know. public key. Right. Correct. Yes. Right. You have received a message from uh, from Tanvi, right? Yes. And now you will you now you can use three keys of yours to unlock that. i'll use tanvi's public key to unlock that message no what i said tanvi have shared its mess her message locking it with it her public, public. Key. so only her okay. private key will be a, will be able to open the message okay so what will happen in this case you will not be able to open the message why because you don't have access to the private key of tanvi right yes, tell me are you getting this rashida are you getting this Yes. yes sir. So, little, so little what? Bit. What Chetna will say? What Chetna will say after seeing the message? Chetna will say. Chetna will, you know, fight with the Tanvi that what kind of message you are sending? It is not opening. What the hell you are doing? Right? So Chetna will say like this to the Tanvi. And now Tanvi will be in a confusion that what I did. Okay. Now I'll change the key. Previously I used public key. Now I will use my private key. No. private key right so what what uh, uh, tanvi will do now tanvi will lock the message with its with her private key now previously she logged with his, uh, his with her you know uh, 
public key now it now she will lock it with her private key got it yes tanvi tanvi got it na you locked it yes, with your yes, private yes, key got and you shared the message to the chetna but sir now earlier chetna, when i have locked with the public key and no, then no. i have given the access to all then what about that sir no you logged with your public key right so only your private key will be able to open that message so you only you have the access to your private key no no one else so no no one will be able to open that message that message will be encrypted only no one will be able to open the message so could we take the example of bank locker yes obviously whatever data you are saving on the internet which you don't want to share with anyone you will save it with your public key got it okay yeah sir got because no one else would be able to open that if you are locking it with your own public key get it got it yes or no everybody got sir now, clear now 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 coming to the scenario where uh, tanvi has shared a message to the chetna with her private key right now chetna got the message and now again she has three keys so she will put her she will put her private key so it will not open then she will put her public key it will not open now what she will do she will use tanvi's public key to open that message yes or no what will happen chetna what will happen the message will be open yes but yes but, but again chetna will shout on tanvi kyu kyu shout karegi batao why chetna will shout on tanvi again yes, because again the message is private no message is not private now like, message is open for everybody because tanvi has shared the message with locking its locking her uh, locking with her private key which can yes. be openable by uh, by her public key by her yes. public key only yes by her public key only so tanvi's public key is with everyone na okay yeah okay i got it hmm. so vapis chetna abhi tanvi pe chillayegi fir se ki ye kaisa message bheja ye to koi bhi open kar sakta hai got it okay got sir got got it to chetna fir se bolegi ki aisa kaisa message bheja ye to koi bhi anybody can open it because tanvi's public key is available with everyone now just okay. think now tanvi just think what alternate thing you have to do now you have used your public key you have used your uh, private key and the things are not working chetna is shouting you shout shouting on you on both ways right so what you will do now you have third option left only you will encrypt the message with chetna's public key Tanvi, are you there? In that case, yes, sir, sir everybody has my own public key. Chetna's Sorry, public bolo. key. Chetna's key public so, key. So, everybody has. Everybody has. So now, just just imagine, you have that message encrypted with Chetna's public key. Se. Now, tell me, who can open that message? Ko kon open kar sakta hai? Sir, everyone has. चेतना की पब्लिक की होगी तो सभी ओपन कर सकते हैं आ, कौन बोल रहे हो तनवी बात कर रहे हैं नहीं सर चेतना अभी आप कौन बोल रहे हो चेतना चेतना, चेतना मैं अभी मैं अभी इतनी देर से ही बोल रहा था कि जब मैं अपनी पब्लिक की से किसी चीज को लॉक करूंगा तो मैं अपनी पब्लिक की से ही उसको खोल पाऊंगा किसी और की पब्लिक की से नहीं और अगर मैं अपनी पब्लिक की से लॉक कर रहा हूं तो मैं अपनी ही प्राइवेट की से उसको ओपन कर पाऊंगा ये एक नेसेसरी कंडीशन है ये मैंने आपको शुरुआत में बता दिया था तो अगर इफ तनवी इज लॉकिंग इट लॉकिंग द मैसेज विद चेतनास पब्लिक की देन चेतनास प्राइवेट की विल बी ओपन विल बी एबल टू ओपन दैट मैसेज ओनली अब क्लियर हुआ सबको या अभी भी डाउट है कुछ सर क्लियर क्लियर श्योर हंड्रेड परसेंट सर क्लियर चेतना यस सर तनवी यस सर सो तो अगर आपने चेतना की पब्लिक की से लॉक करके भेजा चेतना के पास और अब चेतना क्या करेगी उसको अपनी 
पब्लिक की से ओपन करेगी तो पब्लिक की से तो ओपन होगा नहीं क्योंकि वो पब्लिक की से लॉक्ड है तो पब्लिक की से ओपन नहीं होगा फिर वो अपनी प्राइवेट की से अनलॉक करेगी तो ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी अनलॉक्ड नाउ चेतना विल से शबास तनवी यू डिड अ वेरी गुड राइट राइट थिंग यू डिड सो द मैसेज इज शेयर्ड सीक्रेटली विद द चेतना तो क्या मैसेज क्या किया हमने इंक्रिप्शन किससे किया चेतना की पब्लिक की से यस और नो यस सर और चेतना ने कैसे उसको ओपन किया यूजिंग हर प्राइवेट की Yes or no? Yes, sir. So you can see yes, here sir. in the diagram. In the diagram, you can see what we are saying that original text will be converted into scrambled data. Scrambled data means cipher text, encrypted message, using the public key. So Chetna's public key we will use here, correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And for decryption, yes. and for decryption, what we are doing? We are using Chetna's private key, not we are. Only Chetna is using. We are is the wrong word to say here. So Chetna is using her private key to decrypt the message from scrambled data to original text. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Fine, everybody. Any doubt, any question you have, just ask it. You know, uh, without any uh, thought, just ask it. I'll answer. Anybody have any any uh, doubt in this concept? No sir. Uh, even I would like to ask other people as well, like Sorab, Saloni, Akash, Ankit. All you are able to understand what what I have mentioned here. Yes sir. Sure, Ankit, Akash, Akash is there. Saloni, Sorab. Yes sir. Are you getting na what what we are uh, talking about? any doubt you have anybody okay so i think uh, all you are clear about it so we are moving for the next slide now now okay uh, before to this i would like to uh, uh, say one more thing aap logo mein se sabne digital signature ke bare mein suna hai yes sir everybody now uh, now i will tell you that how asymmetric encry encryption can help us in getting digital signature fir se wahi scenario pe aate hain tanvi ko ek message bhejna hai chetna ko right but now we want digital signature of you know we want to be sure that data private hona ho it's not necessary let's say we talk about check jab hum log kisi ko check dete hain to check mein hum log apne sign kar dete hain right so all the information all the data is visible us case mein इन्फॉर्मेशन को सीक्रेट रखना प्राइवेट करना इज नॉट नेसेसरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वॉट कि चेक मैंने साइन किया हो चेक मेरे से साइन होके ही आगे गया हो सो इन दैट केस ऑथेंटिकेशन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन दी प्राइवेसी आर यू गेटिंग ऑल आर यू गेटिंग ऑल दैट ऑथेंटिकेशन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस केस राधर देन प्राइवेसी डेटा कितना पैसा ट्रांसफर करना है और किसका नाम आम का चेक है किसको चेक जाना है ये सब चीजें विजिबल हैं लेकिन इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है कि साइन मेरे होने चाहिए सो ऑथेंटिसिटी इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन दी प्राइवेसी करेक्ट एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी मीन बाय डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सो जस्ट इमेजिन तनवी एंड चेतना तनवी इज सेंडिंग अ मैसेज थ्रू इट्स प्राइवेट की लेट से द मैसेज इज इंक्रिप्टेड विद तनवी इज प्राइवेट की आर यू गेटिंग ऑल ये सब अगर तनवी ने अपनी प्राइवेट की से मैसेज को इनक्रिप्ट करके भेजा है तो बताओ मुझे बाकी सब लोग जो अवेलेबल हैं उस मैसेज को मैं कैसे ओपन कर पाऊंगा हाउ आई विल बी एबल टू डिक्रिप्ट मैसेज ऑब्वियसली एंड तनवी पब्लिक की इज अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन यस सो यहाँ पे प्राइवेसी नहीं रही मैसेज की ना प्राइवेसी नहीं है क्योंकि कोई भी ओपन कर सकता है उस मैसेज को ये सोनो Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So message is not private, but अगर ये मैसेज तनवी ने अपनी प्राइवेट की से लॉक करके भेजा है तो क्या हम लोग ये अश्योरेंस ले सकते हैं इस मैसेज से कि ये मैसेज सिर्फ और सिर्फ तनवी ने तनवी ने ही भेजा है बिकॉज इट इज इंक्रिप्टेड विथ तनवीज प्राइवेट की विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल टू एनी वन 
so can we say yes, that the message is signed by tanvi yes or no yes sir sure na digital signature samajh mein aaya ki what is the meaning of digital signature if somebody yes. is encrypting the message with her or his own private key तो प्राइवेट की तो सिर्फ हर बंदे की अपनी प्राइवेट की उसी के पास होगी सो इफ द मैसेज इज इनक्रिप्टेड विद एवरी एनी वन यू नो ऑन प्राइवेट की देन वी कैन एनश्योर वी कैन वी कैन बी श्योर दैट द मैसेज इज कमिंग फ्रॉम लेजिटिमेट सेंडर ओनली यस और नो नो बडी एल्स इज सेंडिंग द मैसेज बाय पोजिंग इट सेल्फ अनादर वन Yes or no, everybody. Yes, I want, I want, a, uh, I want a, you know, uh, response from all of you. That is it, is it viable, na? Making sense? Yes, sir. Clear. Digital clear. signature. इसी को बोल सकते हैं ना? Yes. This is digital signature, right? Okay. Yes. Coming to the next slide, that is concept of hash. Now, uh, it is me, also sir? important. Yes. Yes. So can we decide? Uh, so actually, yeah, I have heard that uh, in the terms of blockchain, uh, verifying the impressions of uh, is a like uh, is digital See, signature. See, can we? We 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 are not on the blockchain right now. We are just understanding what supports blockchain. So when we will go okay. for blockchain, then your confusion will be clear. Don't worry. Okay, sir. Okay. We are just studying how blockchain is secured. right then we will continue on the topic of blockchain after this right so right? thank so you so all all your uh, queries will be resolved don't worry about that i am there to help you right so thank just you. go with the flow where i am taking to you right so right. next concept we are going to understand is hashing hashing have you heard anybody heard about this word hashing before what is hashing or message digest you can say anybody have heard about this term before i think no okay just imagine a scenario where i am sending a big message over the internet to another person so i think you all must know that whatever data we sent we send on internet from one computer to another it doesn't go in the whole form it is you know converted into small chunks it is broken up into small chunks small packets and then these packets through you know uh, travel from one computer to another computer through the internet i think it is it is known to all yes or no that if i am having a message of 10 mb then the 10 mb will not be going in a one shot it it will not be sent in a block of 10 mb the 10 mb will be divided into smaller smaller packets and they these packets will you know go from one computer to another computer through different routes it will not take one route it may take different routes it may go from you know another server another computer to the destination so multiple routes can be there is it is it known to everyone or you are list, uh, listening it for the first time this is for, uh, this is new thing for all of you tell me that why i am asking all these questions because you know uh, you all people are not from technical background so it is just a check to understand how much you know about the things so it gives me a sense that till what depth i need to go to make you understand so your responses are equally important for me as well so have you heard about these things or not my question is this no sir okay so uh, i no, told sir. you now 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 you have the impression that how the messages are sent from one computer to another now you have the impression on that i just 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 make you understand that the message is not sent in a whole block the uh, complete message is divided into small small packets and these packets you know move from one computer to another computer through internet through different routes now it is okay now you have heard about it right yes sir correct so let's suppose let's say i have sent the all the packets on the internet to the respondent like to the recipient let's suppose i am the another person who is the recipient of those packets how he will come to know that all the packets have been received because he don't know na ki uh, what kind of messages send, sender is sending so how a recipient will be ensured 
that he has received all the packets and he is he has received all the data in complete form how who we would be you know um, knowing all this so to help you know recipient we have the concept of message digest what i will do let's say again i am taking the tanvi and uh, chetna into the picture let's say chetna has asked to tanvi to send her mobile number through internet for example it's not viable thing but yes for understanding the concept of hash i am taking this example chetna and tanvi can you hear me i also yes, want to hear sir. from you chetna yes, and tanvi yes sir yes so, sir tanvi is sending her mobile number to chetna got it now the message is coming from internet right so chetna and tanvi are you know uh, in tension that whether the chetna is receiving the right message or you know the message is not torn by anyone in the middle you know some attacker is there who can change the digits of the mo uh, mobile number so chetna and tanvi are in the tension that uh, whatever messages they are exchanging are they receiving in the you know integrity is intact or not integrity means somebody has not changed the message in between let's say i am sending a check to the bank and i have written rupees 10000 transfer to the tanvi's bank and somebody you know in in between bank and me have taken that check and at the place of 10000 he marked one more extra zero at the end so now it, it is becoming one lakh are you getting so integrity of yes, the message sir. has been changed it is not integrate so integrity of the message is compromised so here again tanvi and chetna are in tension that whatever messages they are exchanging is it in, uh, their integrity is intact or not so how they will you know uh, uh, you know confirm on this so what tanvi and chetna will decide that we will calculate a digest of the message which we are exchanging so let's say for example everybody can uh, every uh, everybody have pen and paper with all of you right pen paper hai na sab log ke paas yes sir chalo yes, main aapko sir. ek digit likhwata hu sab log ek digit likhiye for example it is tanvi's mobile number right so likhiye ek ek digit likhiye 92 923456 kya likha hai maine लेकिन अभी हमारे पास बहुत ज्यादा टाइम नहीं है सो वी आर कीपिंग इट फॉर दिक्स डिजिट लेट से दिस मैसेज तनवी वॉन्ट्स टू सेंड टू देटना सो बिफोर सेंडिंग दिस मैसेज what chetan uh, what tanvi will do it will calculate the hash of this message ab wo hash kaise calculate karna hai it will depending on the you know algorithm for example hum log abhi le lete hain ki uh, uh, tanvi is going to add up all these numbers to so, sab sab log isko add karo sare numbers ko kya aata hai result batao mujhe in sare numbers ko add karna you have to add all these numbers and tell me the result what we are getting 29 yes correct everybody doing this so you will get 29 right so along with this mobile number like 923456 29 will be shared with the chetna got it chetna yes yes sir right so 29 will be encrypted now 29 will not be you know in a plain text message even this 923456 will not be in the plain text message it it will be also encrypted but fir bhi hum log ye maan ke chalte hai ki raste mein koi na koi to isko churayega koi na koi usme changes karega to pehle to humne fir bhi encryption karke bheja lekin fir bhi hum log ek extra safety ke liye hum log kya calculate kar rahe hain hash calculate kar rahe hain and what is the hash hash kya hoga us pure message ka digest hoga can you tell me the meaning of digest in normal english anybody what is the meaning of digest it is just related with the human body the digestion system we have in our body so what is the meaning of digest now tell me i have given the hint chetna and tanvi you are in 
so you can tell me what is the meaning of digest whatever you know i am not telling you ki aapko sahi answer dena hai you can you can tell uh, whatever you know what is the meaning of digest kind of consuming something and in small portions or something no digest is different digest means the you know hindi mein agar main bolu to it is kind of sar sar means the actual meaning actual meaning for why we eat food actually for protein for energy right we are not eating energy directly we are eating food for energy so energy is digest of the food getting this okay so leftover thing is uh, you know the waste but the thing which we have the body have absorbed is digest basically right so similarly what we are creating we are creating a digest like let's say you know Uh, the if we are eating 2 kg of food the energy will be very less you know for example so digest is you know um a, a you know a small portion of the data which is you know a resulting form so we can say if if i am calculating digest for for a bigger uh, size of data i will calculate a small portion of the data i will calculate a digest of that and that portion will be you know very less from the actual data So digest will be a small number or a small data. Got it? Yes, sir. Sure. Right. So, फिर से आ जाते हैं उसी एग्जांपल पे. The message nine two three four five six and along with this twenty nine, हम लोग उनको इनक्रिप्ट करेंगे और तन्वी किसको भेजेगी? चेतना को भेजेगी. चेतना के पास ही मैसेज आ गया. अच्छा. चेतना और तन्वी को पता है कि मैसेज डाइजेस्ट कैसे कैलकुलेट करना है. They have synchronization. They have कंसेंसस की किस तरीके से हम लोग डाइजेस्ट कैलकुलेट करने वाले बट अदर्स विल नॉट नो अगर दूसरों को भी पता होगा कि डाइजेस्ट आप कैसे कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं देन इट विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम क्योंकि फिर वो क्या है कि जो जो अटेगर है उसको भी पता है कि मुझे क्या चेंजेस करने हैं डेटा में सो यू नो डाइजेस्ट की वैल्यू सेम आ जाएगी आर यू गेटिंग सो डाइजेस्ट का जो मैथड जो फॉर्मूला है वो भी दोनों के पास सीक्रेट है फॉर तनवी एंड टू इट इज नॉन टू तनवी एंड टू चेतना वॉट इट Yes, yes, sir. No? sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Fine. अब चेतना के पास ही मैसेज पहुंच चुका है ना इनक्रिप्टेड फॉर्म में अब तुम डिक्रिप्ट कैसे करोगी वो तो पुराना हम लोग डिस्कस कर चुके हैं like, uh, so, उसको डिक्रिप्ट कर लिया नाउ यू है आपको मिला ओरिजिनल मैसेज और उसके साथ मिला आपको डाइजेस्ट ये सो नो चेतना क्योंकि तनवी ने भी मैसेज और डाइजेस्ट साथ लगा के भेजा था है ना एनवेलप में पैक करके भेजा था आपको तो आपको भी क्या बोला जैसे ही आपने एनवेलप ओपन किया मतलब आपने डिक्रिप्ट किया आपको भी दो चीजें मिली एक तो मैसेज मिला और एक उसका डाइजेस्ट मिला राइट right, चेतना यस yes, अब आपको ये टेंशन थी ना कि समबडी एल्स इन द बिटवीन हैव चेंज द मैसेज और नॉट उन्होंने बीच में किसी अटैक ने कोई चेंज तो नहीं कर दिया इंटेग्रिटी इंटेक्ट है या नहीं मैसेज की कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी इंटेक्ट है या नहीं मैसेज की सो वॉट यू विल डू अगेन द मैसेज यू हैव रिसीव्ड you will calculate digest again at your place because you know how tanvi calculated the digest so using the same algorithm you will calculate the digest again of the data you have received yes or no chetna yes yes sir sir got it now tell me now tell me you have two digest one you calculated at your place yes. and one sent by the tanvi now how you will you know come to know that the message is intact nobody has changed in between now tell me how you can ensure that you have to uh, digest by confirming tanvi when you calculated sorry digest by? would be 29 yes by comparing both the digest right if it is 29 and what tanvi has sent it is also 29 then you can assured yes the message received is not changed because the digest is coming same got it yes sir got it hashing is clear na to everyone yes or no yes sir yes. clear yeah yes uh, for, sir for just just for the you know um, kind of you know uh, feedback uh, everybody is enjoying the class or you are feeling bored in this Are you feeling boring or you are enjoying the learning? 
that is my question going well sir sure it's 100% going well, sir. Yeah, yes sir it's participator saloni prerna everybody akash ankit yes sir yes sir we are learning something new correct so any time any doubt you have in your mind just ask it right don't keep it for you know another day or another time sure, sir. ask it right sure. straight away at the same time right so uh, what is hash the uh, we will discuss the property of hash as well it is it is based on one way manner one way manner means if you have created digest of something you cannot do reverse means if i am getting digest of something i cannot you know uh, i i'll not be able to convert it into plain text as well again so it it works on one way manner cryptography works like cryptography works like we can convert plain text into cipher text and again cipher text to plain text so it is a two way manner but hashing is one way manner one way manner means if once the message digest is calculated from the plain text we cannot go reverse means if i am getting some digest from you know from internet i cannot convert it into plain text otherwise what will happen if somebody is getting digest he will be able to convert that into the plain text if he know the algorithm so hashing algorithm has the property that once the data uh, you know uh, converted into uh, a digest the digest will not be able to talk about the plain text message is it clear making sense yes sir sure 100% so one way operation means that it is impossible to compute the plain text from the hashed text output so once we have converted into hash we cannot we will not reverse it right okay so uh, this is all about the basics of you know cryptography which is uh, helping you know in blockchain to secure it i think it is clear any doubt anybody have in the previous topics you can ask now okay so now we are starting with the main topic that is blockchain can you see the diagram on the right top right corner you can see blocks different blocks are there and these blocks are connected with each other so that is why we are calling it as block chain got it yes sir okay before starting this blockchain uh, i would like to give one more example the same scenario kind of thing just imagine me rashida tanvi and chetna four people are working on a project fine i want chetna tanvi and rashida to be in in this conversation right. okay so okay, just sir. imagine just imagine we are working on a project we are working on a project file basically and we all have imparted something into the project so we are working on a project report and we need to prepare this uh, report within few days because we need to submit it to the college got it and just imagine around 10 to 12 years before if this scenario was before 10 years and we have ms word you know installed at our computers we all are at different place we are working remotely so let's say if i am producing a file and i have imparted i have written what i have done in the project and now tanvi is also want to add the data into that file what i i need to do is how tanvi will be able to access that file tanvi how we can work simultaneously on a file i am talking about 10 year before so physically transferring the file yeah what i need to do jis jitna kaam maine file mein kiya hai mujhe apni file ko kya karna padega mujhe wo file bhejni padegi kisko tanvi ko right fir tanvi apna kaam finish up karke kisko bhejegi chetna ko and similarly chetna will send to the rashida fir agar mujhe yaad aaye ki nahi mujhe fir se change karna hai kuch maine kuch galat kar diya uske andar ya mujhe kuch aur cheeze i need to update then again rashida se file wo mere paas aayegi फिर यू नो राशिदा को याद आया नहीं नहीं मैंने भी कुछ चीजें गलत कर दी वो फिर से फाइल राशिदा को आ जाएगी सो इट विल अ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग थिंग बिकॉज सेंडिंग अ फाइल इन अ फिजिकल वे और थ्रू ईमेल और एनीथिंग इट विल बी अ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग थिंग और यू नो इट विल बी अ कंप्लीटली अ मैसअप 
कि हम लोग ने हम कौन सी फाइल पे काम कर रहे थे और कितनी फाइल कितने लोगों में घूम रही है गेटिंग दिस अच्छा लेट से आज उससे दस साल के बाद की बात करते हैं वट इज द सोल्यूशन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम कोई बताएगा मुझे अगर मुझे एक प्रोजेक्ट फाइल पे काम करना है हाउ कैन इट बी सोल्व नाउ हम लोग कैसे कर सकते हैं it will be uploaded in drive and give access to all of three members okay abhi hum log kya soch rahe hain abhi aapke sabke dimag mein kya cheez aayi ki hum log ek central repository bana denge ek central server right us pe wo file rakhenge and everybody will be having access to that file centralized file pe right yes sir aur sab yes, log sir. us file pe kaam karenge got it yes or no yes sir yes sir तो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो गई बट देर विल बी अनादर प्रॉब्लम लेट सपोज समे दैट सेंट्रल रिपोजिटरी यू नो इज वेनिस्ड और इट इज यू नो ड्यू टू सम पावर फेलियर और ड्यू टू समू नो नेचुरल डिजास्टर दैट दैट सर्वर इज यू नो डिमोलिस्ड वॉट विल हैपन what will happen the data got vanished data will be the data will be damaged the data will be gone right and we all four yes, people will be will disconnected be yes data will be collapsed and all four of we will be disconnected with each other because the central repository was there to communication for communication between all of us right got it yes yes sir so, so this yes, is sir. called decentralized this is called centralized system right and in centralized system what happens when the core or the major component fails overall communication you know hampers okay got it just imagine uh, in a in a mall we have a central ac system one ac is, is installed at the top and everybody is getting supply from that ac what what happens if that ac you know burnt or that ac wo ac mein agar kuch problem aa jaye to kya hoga what will happen the complete building will suffer correct yes or no yes sir so this is the yeah ek fayda bhi hua ki sab log communication mein aa gaye through this centralization of the system aur uska nuksan kya hai ki agar central core system agar aapka fail ho gaya then everybody will be disconnected obviously yes to so, iska koi yes. solution batao mujhe पहली प्रॉब्लम थी कि हम लोग डेटा शेयर कैसे करें तो हमने एक सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम बनाया लेकिन सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम के अपने प्रोज एंड कॉन्स हैं तो हमने कहा कि कॉन्स प्रोज तो अच्छी बात है कॉन्स के लिए हमने क्या किया फिर से एक नया सॉल्यूशन ढूंढना शुरू किया नाउ टेल मी व्हाट कैन बी द अनादर सोल्यूशन हाउ कैन वी सोल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सबा इम्प्रूविंग टेक्निकली यस ऑब्वियसली टेक्निकली तो इम्प्रूव करना ही पड़ेगा इसके अलावा more than that see can we have a system where everybody has its own local copy of file agar hum log char log hain yes sir agar hum log char log hain to charon ke paas apni local copy ho file ki aur jab bhi main apni file mein kuch updation karu jab bhi main apni file mein kuch updation karu baki ki file mein bhi wo reflect hona shuru ho jaye technically improve hone ke baad अगर मैंने मैंने अपनी फाइल में कुछ लिखा मैंने अपनी फाइल में कुछ लिखा एंड ऑल द थ्री पीपल आर कनेक्टेड विद दैट फाइल आपकी अपनी अपनी फाइल में जो आपके पास कॉपी है उसमें भी मैं व्हाट आई हैव अपडेटेड इन द फाइल इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली अपडेटेड इन योर फाइल एज वेल लेट से आफ्टर आई हैव रिटर्न राशिदा इज एडिंग ऑल्सो समथिंग इन हर फाइल इन हर कॉपी ऑफ फाइल एंड after write up the same thing is visible in our local copies as well all the other three people let's say rashida ne jo uski file mein update kiya meri file mein bhi update ho gaya are you getting yes sir so let's say sab log apni apni file mein add kar rahe hain aur wo reflect kis mein hota ja raha hai baki sari files mein bhi reflect hota ja raha hai correct लेट से राशिदा राशिदा का सिस्टम खराब हो गया या राशिदा का जो कंप्यूटर uh, है वो खराब हो गया राशिदा की फाइल डैमेज हो गई अब क्या होगा 
सारा डेटा चला गया बाकी तीन के पास ऊपर ऑब्वियसली द अदर थ्री पीपल हैव देयर कॉपी एंड व्हाटएवर राशिदा एंड अदर पीपल हैव सेव्ड इन द कॉपी इट इज आल्सो देयर सो व्हाट राशिदा कैन डू शी कैन whenever she will get a new laptop or new computer the data will be updated accordingly according to the other you know uh, copies available in the network uh, apne me, pa, apne aap rash yeah 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 who is tanvi uh, yeah sir sorry to yeah, interrupt tanvi. yeah yeah, uh, yeah but sir, actually one confusion is there uh, yes, so like uh, what we had word right uh, uh, before 2 minutes was mm-hmm. like uh, बताया था ना सर कि अगर ड्राइव होती है एंड इफ इट इज डैमेज्ड और अगर वो कोलैप्स हो गई है जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम रीजन तो फिर सबके पास अपनी अपनी कॉपी होती है राइट बट अपने पास इफ आई एम हैविंग वन कॉपी चेतना इज हैविंग वन अनदर कॉपी सो उसमें भी डेटा चेंजेस जो भी हम करते हैं वो सामने वाले को थोड़ी दिखते हैं सर उसमें दिखते हैं दिखते हैं मैं मैं सिर्फ आपको ब्लॉक सर अगर वो ड्राइव है अपने पास तो वो दिखेंगे सुनो 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 दिस जो भी अभी मैंने एग्जांपल दिया है इट इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू ड्राइव मैंने ड्राइव का एग्जांपल सिर्फ आपको इसलिए दिया क्योंकि हम लोग वो डेली लाइफ में यूज करते हैं आई एम नॉट क्लेमिंग की मैं तो सिर्फ आपको ये समझाने के लिए कि ब्लॉक चेन काम कैसे करता है बिकॉज वी वी यूज इट है ना हम लोगों ने कहीं ना कहीं गूगल डॉक्स को यूज किया है सो हमारे लिए इजी है अंडरस्टैंड करना की अगर कोई साइमल्टेनियसली किसी फाइल पे काम करता है तो वो कर सकता है इट इज टेक्निकली पॉसिबल That is why I have chosen, yeah. you know, word Google Drive. So I am not claiming that blockchain, uh, this Google Drive is based on blockchain. So it is okay, just okay. to make you aware, just to make you understand the concept, right? So as I'm saying, that Google Drive is working on blockchain. No, yeah, it is different. Yeah, it has blockchain. different, yeah. uh, different uh, working architecture, right? So just to make you aware, just to make you understand that how it can work, right? So for that, I have used Google Drive as an example, liya, right? I think uh, the the query is resolved now, Tanvi. Yeah, sir. Yeah. So blockchain is what having you know distributed uh, you know things. So, rather than centralizing the thing, what we did, we distributed the data among multiple people. Got it now? Yes, sir. So when we talk about blockchain, we are talking about decentralization of the powers. Got it now? that is why i took this example okay. to make you understand what is blockchain okay. blockchain is what distributed distributed computing power distributed data distributed the distributing the things into multiple people is called blockchain so it is not worked on centralization it works on decentralization of the things or decentralization ka fayda kya hai ki data will be available with everyone सो so, अगर कोई एक कॉपी डैमेज भी हो जाती है कोई एक डेटा डैमेज भी हो जाता है सो वी हैव अनदर यू नो रिकवरी ऑप्शन अवेलेबल गेटिंग दिस यस सर यस सो ब्लॉकचेन का मीनिंग समझ में आया बेसिक ब्लॉकचेन व्हाट इज ब्लॉकचेन चलो अब डेफिनेशन yes, पे जाते हैं डेफिनेशन देखो टॉप राइट कॉर्नर पे एक डायग्राम बना हुआ है उसको समझो अ डिजिटल डेटाबेस और लेजर आई थिंक जो लोग कॉमर्स फील्ड से हैं उनको लेजर का मीनिंग मुझे समझाने की जरूरत नहीं है Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, and it will be easy for me to make you understand because I am not from commerce background. I am from IT. Right. So if you know ledger, uh, I think you you all know ledger more than me about ledger more than me. Right. So a digital yes, database or ledger that is distributed among the nodes of a peer-to-peer network. Peer-to-peer. This is important. thing to note again peer to peer is a technical word so i'll tell you what is peer to peer peer to peer means if i am communicating with tanvi so tanvi would be another peer and i am all i am also one peer so i am communicating with tanvi rather than centralizing communication so i am talking with peer so this is called peer to peer so in centralized what what happens we are doing we are not doing peer to peer communication because we are communicating with the central node but in blockchain the the people who are connected in the network will be able to communicate with each other directly so it is a peer to peer network got it for example i'll tell you one more example right now in india let's say if i want to send some money to the you know tanvi's account right to whom i need to communicate to tanvi or to bank So first to Tanvi. 
no not to tanvi if i want to send a message see uh, i am talking it in a general uh, criteria let's say if i want to uh, you know send some money to another's account i'm not talking about this upi transaction and all even though if i am doing upi transaction bank is doing that for me i am not doing it are you getting it seems like i am doing the transaction but actually bank is there in between to authenticate the you know transaction are you getting tanvi yes sir yes sir sometimes what we see it is not actual thing so if you are saying that yes. for bank transactions i can i can do it directly peer to peer it is not possible because bank has to be there in indian yes you know banking sector it is not possible to send some data send some money directly to the banker's account without intervening bank yes so this is called what centralized system because bank is in center every time whenever i am making transaction bank is there in between yes sir and when we talk about bitcoin now uh, rashida i am giving your answer when we talk about bitcoin we don't need any bank i can transfer data directly from my wallet to tanvi's wallet without intervening of bank are you getting are you all getting what is blockchain yes sir yes sir why why we are saying bitcoin is the application of blockchain because bitcoin also works on decentralization of the power decentralization of the currency because there is no need of bank getting yes sir making yes, sense sir. right making sense so what is blockchain it is a linked list list of linked blocks replicated why replicated because everyone will have a copy replicated distributed because everyone will have that so distributed replicated distributed consistency maintained by consensus i'll tell you later what is the meaning of consensus and how it is maintained so abhi ke liye yaad rakhne ke liye ye samajh lo ki link list hai link list hogi block ki right replicated hogi because everybody will be uh, it will be replicated to everyone's you know uh, uh, node jitne log us network mein hai jitne log uh, us blockchain ke andar hai sabke paas wo information hogi replicated hogi distributed hogi consistency hogi consistency means ek नोट के पास जो डेटा है वही डेटा दूसरे नोट के पास भी होगा दूसरे पर्सन के पास भी होगा सो सेम डेटा विल बी देयर ऐसा नहीं होगा कि एक जने के पास कोई डेटा है और वो दूसरे नोट के पास जो डेटा है उससे डिफरेंट होगा नहीं इट विल बी कंसिस्टेंट क्रिप्टोग्राफिकली लिंक्ड तो जो लिंक्स होंगे वो क्रिप्टोग्राफिकली यू नो इनक्रिप्टेड होंगे दे विल बी सिक्योर्ड सो दैट इज वाई आई i uh, you know uh, told you about the cryptography in the start so you need to know what is cryptography because cryptography is the major uh, thing which is there in the blockchain which is making it secure so cryptographically linked then cryptographically assured integrity of data we know how to integrate how to you know preserve the integrity of data we know about it through the crypt uh, cryptography we have studied just before so cryptographically assured integrity of data so this is all about the blockchain i think it is uh, it is making sense to everyone yes so yes one more important yes, thing about this blockchain now you can say that sir if bank is not in between then who is going to you know uh, be a supervisor of that yes na obviously ye question to dimag mein aayi gayi ki agar bank nahi hai block agar hum log bitcoin ka transfer kar rahe hain bitcoin purchase kar rahe hain bitcoin bhej rahe hain send kar rahe hain transaction kar rahe hain then who is the authority कोई ना कोई अथॉरिटी तो चाहिए नहीं तो चोरी होना शुरू हो जाएगी यस और नो आया ना यस सर एंड दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ ब्लॉकचेन कि हमको किसी थर्ड पार्टी की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं होती रीजन बीइंग एवरीबॉडी इज सुपरवाइजर ऑफ द ब्लॉकचेन ऑफ द यू नो करेंसी ऑफ द बिटकॉइन एवरीवन एवरीवन हु इज इन द नेटवर्क हु इज इन दैट नेटवर्क एवरीबॉडी इज द सुपरवाइजर बिकॉज़ अभी हमने ऊपर देखा ना कंसिस्टेंसी मेंटेन बाय कंसेंसस कंसेंसस का मतलब ये होगा कि अगर ब्लॉकचेन में कोई भी चेंजेस होता है तो वो सारे यूजर्स को बताया जाएगा सारे यूजर्स अपनी कंसेंसस देंगे उसके ऊपर कि हां ये ट्रांजैक्शन वैलिड है देन ओनली दैट ट्रांजैक्शन विल बी रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द लेजर गेटिंग दिस यस सर राइट सो 
we are saying it is used as immutable ledger of events immutable kaise koi bhi isko change nahi kar sakta nobody can change it agar main chahu ki main akela uh, ledger ke andar jo transactions mein koi changes karu to pehle mujhe kya lagegi uske liye sab ki consensus lagegi sab log jab usko ha bolenge tabhi wo transaction valid mana jayega aur tabhi uski entry ledger mein hogi getting this so it is immutable ki agar maine koi change kar bhi diya to wo change वो वो चेंज दिखेगा ही नहीं वो चेंज होगा ही नहीं रीजन बीइंग क्योंकि वो चेंज के लिए बाकी लोगों ने कंसेंसस नहीं दिया और कंसेंसस नहीं हुआ इसका मतलब वो रिकॉर्ड भी नहीं होगा वो ट्रांजैक्शन रिकॉर्ड भी नहीं होगा आर यू गेटिंग यस और नो यस सर ट्रांजैक्शन और टाइम स्टैम डेटा और टेम्पर रेजिस्टेंस लॉग मतलब कोई भी डेटा को टेम्पर नहीं कर सकता वो मैं बताऊंगा एक एग्जाम्पल और दूंगा आई आई टेक द नीड हेल्प ऑफ तनवी Uh, Chetna and uh, uh, Rashida again. Sure, are you sir. available? Uh, all three yes, people sir. are available, na? Right. So let's suppose all yes, you sir. three people have fifty-fifty rupees. We are talking about blockchain, right? Okay. So all all three people have fifty-fifty rupees in their wallet. Tanvi, Rashida, and Chetna. Let's suppose Chetna asked about some, you know, help. Uh, from Tanvi and Rashida, कि मुझे दस दस रुपए की जरूरत है और आप लोगों के पास क्योंकि पचास पचास रुपए क्योंकि ये बात चेतना को भी पता है कि आपके अकाउंट में कितने कितने रुपए पड़े हैं गेटिंग दिस फिफ्टी फिफ्टी रुपीज तो शी कैन आस डायरेक्टली कि भावना चेतना कैन आस डायरेक्टली टू द तनवी एंड राशिदा की मुझे दस दस रुपए की हेल्प चाहिए क्योंकि अभी मेरे पास फिफ्टी रुपीज और मुझे फोन परचेज करना है दैट इज ऑफ सेवेंटी रुपीज मेरे पास सिर्फ पचास रुपए हैं तो मुझे अगर दस दस रुपए आप दोनों दे दोगे तो मेरा काम हो जाएगा तो वट क्योंकि तनवी बहुत अच्छी फ्रेंड थी तो उसने जैसे ही चेतना ने बोला उसने हाथों हाथ उसको दस रुपए ट्रांसफर कर दिए और ये जो दस रुपए का ट्रांजेक्शन हुआ है ये किसको किसको पता है ये राशिदा को भी पता है चेतना को भी पता है और तनवी को भी पता है कि ये दस रुपए का ट्रांजेक्शन हुआ है राइट right? तो जैसे ही यू नो राशिदा देखेगी कि यार तनवी उसकी फ्रेंड उसने तो उसको दस रुपए ट्रांसफर कर दिए तो मुझे भी ट्रांसफर कर देने चाहिए आर यू गेटिंग यस सर क्योंकि इन्फॉर्मेशन पास इन्फॉर्मेशन जा रही है एवरीबडी नोज की क्या हो रहा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब क्या होगा जैसे ही दस रुपए तनवी ने ट्रांसफर किए यू नो टू द चेतना नाउ राशिदा इज आल्सो एनफोर्स किए उसने मुझे मांगे तो मुझे भी करने पड़ेंगे नाउ चेतना नाउ यू नो राशिदा विल आल्सो ट्रांसफर टेन रुपीज टू द चेतना राइट और ये ट्रांजेक्शन yeah. किसको दिखेगा ये ट्रांजेक्शन तनवी को भी नजर आएगा कि अच्छा चलो उसने भी दस रुपए ट्रांसफर कर दिए नाउ तनवी कैन यू नो टॉक विद चेतना uh, कि अब तो तेरे पास सत्तर रुपए हो गए अब आराम से तू फोन परचेस कर ले बिकॉज ये इन्फॉर्मेशन किसके पास है तनवी के पास भी है कि उसको सत्तर रुपए मिल चुके उसके अकाउंट में सत्तर रुपए हैं अभी आर यू गेटिंग यस सर राइट लेट सपोज अभी तनवी के दिमाग में खुराफात आई कि क्योंकि ये तो बीच में तो कोई ऑफिसर है नहीं कोई थर्ड पार्टी ऑडिट है नहीं बैंक नहीं है सो so, मैं क्या करती हूँ कि मैं थर्टी रुपीज मैं फोर्टी रुपीज ट्रांसफर कर देती हूँ सॉरी मैं फिफ्टी रुपीज ट्रांसफर कर देती हूँ चेतना को पर तनवी के अकाउंट में एक्चुअल में कितने रुपए पड़े फोर्टी रुपीज फोर्टी रुपीज और तनवी क्या सोच रही कि मैं कितने पैसे ट्रांसफर कर देती हूँ फिफ्टी फिफ्टी रुपीज तो जैसे ही ये फिफ्टी रुपीज वाला ट्रांजेक्शन तनवी परफॉर्म करेगी है ना किससे भावना से भी पूछा जाएगा और राशिदा से भी पूछा जाएगा कि क्या ये ट्रांजेक्शन वैलिड है जो तनवी फिफ्टी रुपीज ट्रांसफर कर रही है चेतना को तो चेतना से भी पूछा जाएगा और राशिदा राशिदा से भी पूछे पूछा जाएगा तो चेतना तो हाँ बोल देगी क्योंकि उसको तो पचास रुपए आ रहे हैं लेकिन राशिदा क्या बोलेगी नहीं नहीं ये कैसे पॉसिबल है यू हैव ओनली फोर्टी रुपीज हाउ यू कैन ट्रांसफर फिफ्टी रुपीज आर यू गेटिंग तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा ये ट्रांजेक्शन वैलिड नहीं होगा ये ट्रांजेक्शन किसने रोक दिया राशिदा ने रोक दिया yes. What it? तो बैंक की जरूरत है क्या यहाँ पे नो सर ऑब्वियसली नो 
कोई भी एक जना अगर कंसेंसस नहीं देगा तो वो ट्रांजेक्शन वैलिड नहीं होगा yes. Yes, so, इसको बोल सकते हैं इम्यूटेबल लेजर ऑफ इवेंट्स कोई उसको yes, uh, कोई चेंजेस नहीं कर सकता कोई फ्रॉड नहीं कर सकता इसमें यस सो इट क्रिएट प्लेटफॉर्म टू यू नो ट्रांजेक्ट क्रिप्टो करेंसी इट इट क्रिएट्स लॉग ऑफ इवेंट्स जो भी ट्रांजेक्शन होंगे है ना वो सारे ही इवेंट्स ट्रांजेक्शन सब कुछ नोट होगा एवरीबडी एंड इट विल हैव इट विल बी रिफ्लेक्टेड टू एवरी वन लेजर हर एक आदमी के पास उस लेजर होगी और लेजर में वो सारे ट्रांजेक्शन रिफ्लेक्ट होंगे हब हर आदमी को पता होगा कि अगले के अकाउंट में कितना पैसा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल बात समझ गए नो बडी कैन यू नो स्टील बिकॉज इट विल इट विल नीड कंसेंस कंसेंस फ्रॉम एवरीबडी फाइन गॉट इट ये सर नो यस सर ओके यहां तक कोई किसी को डाउट हो तो बताओ सर जहां सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम होता है वहां ब्लॉक चेन नहीं होती है नहीं ब्लॉक चेन का फंडामेंटल जो क्राइटेरिया uh, वो यही है कि इट सपोर्ट्स डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन इट डजेंट सपोर्ट सेंट्रलाइजेशन सेंट्रलाइजेशन नहीं है तभी तो थर्ड पार्टी को एलिमिनेट कर दिया बैंक को एलिमिनेट कर दिया इसमें से Okay. Centralized system to already we are having na for uh, making uh, for managing the currency we have banks. So, इसी चीज को कम करने के लिए तो फिर मतलब इसी चीज को uh, eliminate करने के लिए third party को eliminate करने के लिए blockchain का use होता है generally. कि हमको किसी third party की okay. need नहीं है. दो लोग transact करना चाहते हैं they can do. But it will take consensus from all all of the partners they are involving in the in that blockchain. What about it now? Yes sir. Sure, 100 percent. Everybody. Yes sir. Okay, Ankit, want to know from you that are you enjoying the class or getting bored at home? Ankit, are you there? I think he is just on the class and he is moving around. Uh, Akash Prajapati, are Hello. you there? Hello. Oh. Yes, Tanvi. So Tanvi, this time. Yeah, actually i had words with ankit actually he is okay. at the place where your network fluctuates okay so maybe technical issue is there mm -hmm. but what i would request i th i know that uh, th these are the glitches it can happen to anyone but you know when we are in class we should at least you know think ki hum log class jab attend karenge to we should have at least you know basic necessities like we should have a place where we can sit alone another thing is internet another thing is computer laptop so we we should be aware about it let's suppose agar aap uh, online company ka kaam kar rahe hain jahan pe aap job karte hain to wahan pe ye sari cheeze chalengi kya then we you have yes, to sir, perform I it totally na right? i totally understand <laughs> right but, uh, so <laughs> actually i had was so that's why i'm informing no, no you problem, that no problem no problem i'm not i'm not saying Yes, yes. I'm not saying कि uh, you are telling a lie, but मैं मैं तो सिर्फ एक ये कह रहा हूँ कि अगर हमको सीखना है तो we need to make all these adjustments. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a general talk. जो चीजें हमारे हाथ में नहीं हैं उनके लिए तो we cannot do anything. But yes, जो yes, हम लोग manage कर सकते हैं we should manage. Okay, fine, no problem. So आगे चलें next slide पे. Yes, थोड़ा सा ledger के बारे में बात कर लेते हैं. Uh, although I'm not from the accounts, but uh, I have certain understanding. Depending on ledger, so let's see uh, how you can help all me to understand. So ledger, it is the system of record for the business. We know about ledger. Ledger is a thing where we maintain everything, and at the end, when we want to check out whether how the business goes on, how much we earned, how much we make made profit as a profit, how much we you know lost as a, a loss, right? So uh, ledger provides all the details, right? So it record asset transfer between participants. let's say if i am sending some money some you know anything any object we are transferring we just write there in the ledger so business will have multiple ledgers for multiple business networks in which they participate so we can use multiple ledgers yes i i think you must know about how many types of ledger we use in a business then we can anybody help from the commerce background to understand me that what is ledger is from you anybody can help me i want to know from you that what is ledger is am i talking right about ledger 
यस सर जहाँ पे सारे इंडिविजुअल रिकॉर्ड्स अगर अपन करेंगे कोई भी बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन किया है तो हमें जब ढूंढना होगा कि हमने उसके साथ कितना ट्रांजेक्शन किया तो हम पूरे पूरे को नहीं ढूंढ पाएंगे इससे बेटर है कि हम इंडिविजुअल अगर डेटा मेंटेन करेंगे तो उससे ज्यादा बेनिफिट होगा तो लेजर इस काइंड में बनाई जाती है करेक्ट 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 सो दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल बुक वी कैन से और इन कंप्यूटर साइंस वी कैन से इट इज अ कंप्यूटर फाइल इफ वी आर यूजिंग टेली और अनदर यू नो सॉफ्टवेयर obviously yes we are using different softwares to maintain all these lasers these days so if it is in you know physical form we we have bahi khata i i i remember ke uh, jo purane businesses hain aaj bhi you know we used to keep the records in that red colored covered book jisko bahi khata bolte hain right so yes, this is sir. the same similar thing we are using in the computers as a software file or computer file so it is a principal book for recording and totaling financial transactions by account type with debits credits in separate columns and a beginning monetary balance and ending monetary balance for each of the account so we maintain all these things in the you know bahi khata or ledger we uh, we used to say correct yes sir now we will understand who can be the participants means uh, what are the necessary conditions whatever the things which are required for business to have a transaction kind of thing so we need participants first then we we have transactions in between them and we need some contracts do we need contracts in business yes sir is it necessary to have contracts na yes correct yes why we need contracts because if we don't have any foundation then the things will become disaster disasterable so to make the people bound we need contracts yes or no am i correct yes so participants so who are the participants member of a business network customer supplier government regulator usually resides in an organization who has specific identity rules they all are the participants and all participants can do transactions and what is transaction a transfer of asset for example if john gives a car to anthony so it is a transaction if he is giving something if transacting something if he is transferring something it is a transaction yes or no yes sir then what is contract contracts are the conditions for making transaction to occur obviously yes that on what yes. you know uh, points on what consensus we are doing the transaction let's say you know if john is giving a car to anthony then anthony might ask that you should uh, you should you know do a service for the car first then i will take over the charges of the car you need to uh, give a proper service to the car after that i will buy that car from you and this will be the amount you can write all these things on a paper and you can take the sign of john and john will write that yes i have i have uh, serviced my car on this date and now it is working in condition it is in well in condition you just check it if you found it satisfactory then you can give me the money to buy this car and anthony will sign that yes i have checked the car it is okay now i am giving the payment to the john and i am accepting the car yes this is what it is contract so these are the conditions for transaction to occur agar john service nahi karayega to ye transaction hi nahi hoga so to happen this transaction john has to service the car are you getting yes sir so if anthony pays john agar if anthony pays john money then car passes from john to anthony in, in a simple way and if car won't start agar car start nahi hoti funds do not pass to the john तो वो फंड्स ट्रांसफर नहीं होने चाहिए ये कंडीशन हो सकती है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट की यस राइट सो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स आर नेसेसरी इन सब चीजों की जरूरत हमको ब्लॉक चेन में भी पड़ने वाली दैट इज व्हाई आई एम डिस्कसिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स विद ऑल ऑफ यू राइट सो ब्लॉक चेन इज व्हाट blockchain is what it is a shared ledger technology allowing any participant in the business network to see the system of record it is a ledger right what is it is shared ledger technology shared means decentralized allowing any participant in the business network to see the system of record anybody can see that ki kya kya transactions hue hain 
और ट्रांजेक्शन कैसे हुआ है वट इज दॉन्ट्रैक्ट और ट्रांजेक्शन हुआ है मतलब वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भी साइन हुआ होगा वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट की कंडीशन भी मेट हुई होगी आर यू गेटिंग राइट सो इट इज इजी टू इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट बट एक प्रॉब्लम ये आती है जब हम लोग वही uh, मैं सेंट्रलाइजेशन की बात कर रहा हूँ अभी हम लोग फिर से सेंट्रलाइजेशन की बात करेंगे यहाँ पे कि वेन एवर वी आर परफॉर्मिंग ऑल दीज ट्रांजेक्शन तो एक प्रॉब्लम क्या आती है इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मॉनिटर असेट ऑनरशिप एंड ट्रांसफर इन अ ट्रस्टेड बिजनेस नेटवर्क बिकॉज क्या होगा कि मल्टीपल थर्ड पार्टीज विल बी देयर एक बैंक आ जाएगा और इनमें से किसी के भी मन में यू नो दे हैव सर्टेन रॉन्गफुल थिंग्स इन द माइंड दे कैन चेंज द थिंग्स लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप लोगों ने ऐसा सुना होगा ना कि अखबार में आता है ऐसे केसेस आते हैं कि एक ही जमीन को दो आदमियों को बेच दी कुछ याद है क्या हुआ था कि एक जमीन को दो आदमियों को बेच दी गई थी थ्रू सम मेकिंग सम फ्रॉड इन दी यू नो पेपर नो ओके फ्रॉड सो हो सकता है ना पेपर्स में पेपर वर्क में तो फ्रॉड हो ही सकता है यस यस तभी तो मालिया और यू नो दिस व्हाट व्हाट इज द अनदर पर्सन आई एम मिसिंग द नेम चोक्सी नो नॉट चोक्सी मेहुल चोक्सी राइट आई एम राइट दिस पीपल यू नो मेड लॉट्स ऑफ फ्रॉड्स इन द पेपर्स एंड दे वेंट अवे आफ्टर रॉबिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम द इंडिया सो Yes, these things are possible with the centralized repository, centralized things. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for this. Uh, we will continue from this slide again in the next class. I hope you all enjoyed the class and enjoyed the uh, things which we shared today with all of you. Tanvi, Chetna, Monica, Prerna, Ankit, Rashida, Akash, and Saluni. I hope uh, this class. Yes, uh was useful for all of you and you have yes, learned something yes, new about about the technology we are using yes, right day yes yes so obviously. i think the next class would be more interesting for all of us because it, it is just the beginning you know uh, we need to uh, share many things about the blockchain and things so hopefully um, about this you know uh, this uh, notes part uh, i had a talk with rashida what i will do she has shared one link with me right so what i will do i will create two folders there one for core subject that is blockchain and another is uh, my subject that is uh, it specialization subject that is e-commerce i will create two different folders there and i will keep posting the data directly to the repository created by rashida so rashida will give me access to that and after that i'll be able to do this yes but i will upload the data after completing the topic not before that i think there is no problem in this we have consensus on this see we yeah. are we are we are learning blockchain so i need to take consensus from all of you tanvi chetna yeah. monica okay yes, na yes sir but agar ppt abhi mil jati to ye 5 din mein ek bar thoda revise ho jata okay okay what i will do i will keep posting the things in you know fragments jitna aaj padha hai okay, utna sure. main upload kar du kal parso tak chal kar du chalega na Sure, sure, sir. Huh? No issues. No issues. Okay. Okay. So, so I am just uh, closing this meet now uh, because another uh, another people is waiting for the you know class, right? So I'll mark attendance all these uh, six to seven people who are currently present in the class. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir.